Hello, welcome to my tech fan. Prosa company sent me some PETG filaments for the testing. This is PETG CF and this is V0. Both have the similar price of approximately $55 per kilogram, but let's go step by step. The CF means uh, it is reinforced with the carbon fibers. And this means that uh, printing this filament requires some kind of hardened nozzle. Usually the hardened steel nozzle is the most common and especially ask them to confirm that it can be printed with 0.4 millimeters nozzle. So it doesn't require bigger 0.6 or similar. Now, according to the website, uh, it has better dimensional stability, better temperature resistance, higher modulus of elasticity. This means it is stiffer material and it has less stringing during the printing. And downsize is that it has the lower hardness. It is very durable and uh, it will give us nice looking uh, parts and it is suitable for the outdoors used too. Now let's talk about V0. According to the website, it is a UL certificated self-extinguishing PETG filament. It is very suitable for the housing and uh, insulating parts in electronics. In this video, I'll compare these two filaments, but it is not really a direct comparison. If you need this uh, self-extinguishing property, then you should use V0. If you don't need this property, you should use a regular PTG or the carbon fiber version. I'm just curious, so I will do those regular mechanical testings that I usually do on this channel and uh, to see what can we expect from these filaments. And um, I will include some results for uh, PETG filaments too, but some parts I want to print from regular PETG because I want to see that uh, creeping test or the temperature test in direct comparison with all three filaments. I'm starting the printing with the carbon fiber version and recommended print temperature are between 255 and 275 degrees Celsius and I hope they take in account that uh, this requires a hardened steel nozzle which requires actually a little bit higher print temperatures and uh, heat bed temperature between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. Let's start with the unboxing of the carbon fiber version. Here you can see some basic information on it and this bag is resealable so cut it above this ceiling line and I'm starting the printing and I really like this uh, rolling of the filament. And I will use the nozzle X 0.4 millimeter hardened steel nozzle. And the filament is changed. The temperature tower will be from 275 down to 255 degrees Celsius. Only I don't have the 275 element, but it was that printing temperature. And until it's hot, it sticks very good to the print bed. And when it cools down, it is easy to remove it with some minimal flexing. And this temperature tower, yes, it has some minimal stringing, but otherwise it is perfect. Those overhangs looks great. I'm printing all test objects at once. And I really like their looks thanks to these carbon fibers. And again, some flexing after the bed cools down. And I have one group of test objects. And now changing the nozzle to the breast nozzle. I'm using 7mm wrench here. Of course, everything is preheated. And I'm using the torque wrench for tightening the new nozzle, placing back the fan shroud and the part cooling fan. And it is ready for the printing. So I'm moving to the V0. Also has very nice rolling. There is a silica gel inside. The temperature tower from 240 down to 220 according to the website actually because uh, it is different informations on the spool and on the website and very similar temperature tower has some just minimal stringing on 240 degrees celsius but uh, very minimally and it sticks very good until the bed is hot and this is another perfect temperature tower only minimal stringing on highest temperature element and printing all test objects at once Printing was smooth without any problems. It's a minimal flexing of the bed. I can remove the objects and the second group is prepared. And I'm placing to the resealable bag. There is a silica gel inside. And uh, this is a regular PETG and I need some test objects from these two. They are printed on 250 degrees Celsius for creep test, bending and the temperature test. I use here the satin prosa sheet. And also I have a new hanging scare, Karen is very good brand, max is 200 kilograms, but what I really like is that it holds the maximal value. 
So don't have to analyze the footage frame by frame. And this is now the V0. Objects printed horizontally. This is the carbon fiber version. Now the layer adhesion, vertically printed object, V0. Of course it's weaker. And this is the carbon fiber version. And this is the shear stress, two-sided shear stress. And they are very similar in this test. And now the torque or twist test where I want to measure the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load. And I'm starting with the V0. 0 0.9 newton meters and this was the max too. And with carbon fibers uh, the max was 1.1. The ISO impact test uh, with this half kilogram hammer and with this uh, you can see how tough or brittle are these materials. V0. Zero. zero position. Carbon fiber. And this is how they look like after the break but let's analyze the footage. So this is the position of the hammer with the zero position. This is after waste zero breaking and this is after carbon fiber. Very similar, very minimal difference. And if I measure the distances from the zero position, I can calculate the breaking energy. Now three point bending test and uh, I have these test objects. Distance between supports is uh, 50 millimeters. And I will place these loads one by one and I want to measure the deformation after 130 and 60 seconds. And here you can see them side by side. Load 1.25 kilograms, 2.5. 5 kilograms, 10 kilograms. And this is how they look like after this test. A very minimal deformation I can see on them. Mostly on the PETG part. Another temperature test in the oven and I also have some uh, resin test objects too because I have several experience in the progress. And I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. And I will follow the temperature with this uh, cooking thermometer. And this part is uh, speed it up uh, 25 times. And all three PETGs started to deform at approximately 65, 66 degrees Celsius. And unfortunately, because of that uh, resin test objects, I had to continue this experiment. It will be presented in a separate video. That's a great kit uh, 8K resin. And on 200 degrees Celsius, I stopped the experiment because of that resin test object. But it was a big mistake because uh, these PTG filaments was uh, over melted. This uh, not really sticks to the test objects. It was very hard to remove it completely. Uh, I did it later off video. But most important information here, there is no big difference in the temperature resistance between these three PTG filaments. And on my regular creep test to measure the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms. And uh, I always have several experiments in the progress, so beside these PETG filaments, I will have one object from the resin. This is a regular PETG, V0 and carbon fiber version, and this is that resin. And now let's measure the initial deformation, and for this I've been using these uh, test objects to lock the position for more accurate measuring. 1606, 1512, 1494. This is day 6, I already them. The biggest deformation we can see on the regular PETG and the smallest on the carbon fiber version. And now let's remove the road. The exact numbers I will show you in the results part. Now it looks like this is the permanent deformation and what is interesting actually that the smallest is on the V0 and of course the biggest is on regular PTG. And now the fire test side by side V0 and the carbon fiber version to check that self extinguishing function of the V0. And uh, yes, interesting, I didn't know that it will burn the CF version catch the flame. But whenever I did, I couldn't get a flame with the V0 version. And I already have a practical application for this filament. It's an LED holder which will be placed inside the enclosure. And also this is LED cover for the P1P. 
Since the hardness is mentioned even in the specifications, let's measure it with this uh, short durometer and I will measure perpendicular to the printed layers. The average values I will show you in the results part, uh, this will be the average from three measurings. Just for fun, for comparison, let's see how hard is this wood, which is actually quite soft. 42. It's time to analyze the data. This Excel table you can download from mytechfun.com website and also the test objects, if somebody wants to analyze them, you can download from printables. These are the print settings, which are the different values in the Prussian slicer for these filaments. And don't forget with the CF, I use the hardened steel nozzle, the nozzle X. In all three cases, 0.4 millimeters. Some data for PTG is from previous video, but you saw a few objects are printed again. The creep test, and these are the measured data, the distance between two reference surfaces. And what we need is actually the difference between two days. This is visible on this table and on this graph. And we can see that uh, on the first day we have a lot of creeping of the regular PETG, but later it's stabilized. But the best in this test is actually the carbon fiber version. After day five, very minimal deformation can be measured. The tensor or pulling test, and uh, this is from the previous video. And uh, in this test, yes, the PETG was the strongest, uh, but very similar to carbon fiber version, and the weakest was V0. And the scheme scale I have here for the layer adhesion test, objects printed vertically, and here again the V0 was the weakest compared to the other two, which were very similar. The shear stress, I'm thinking to stop to measure the shear stress because uh, almost with every filament I got very similar data between 110 and let's say 130 kilogram brake load. And then the bending test, and these are the deformations uh, after 30 seconds, but let's analyze better this graph. And the smaller values are better, so uh, these are the deformations after 130 and 60 seconds for these given loads. And we can see that uh, here the carbon fiber version was the best, less deformation. Of course, 10 kg was uh, too high for all three, but on 5 kg, basically, we can see almost horizontal lines. This means they don't deform under the constant load. But yes, the definitely best was the carbon fiber version, and the worst from these three is the PTG. The torque or twist test, and uh, more or less this is uh, very similar because uh, 0 0.1 newton meters is the accuracy of this torque meter, so basically there is no significant difference between these three filaments. And then the ISO impact test, and again, very similar values. I mean, I mean, the PTG was a little bit better, but uh, this is not big difference here. And the temperature test, well, they claim on the website that the carbon fiber version has better temperature resistance, but I couldn't notice any difference between all three, actually. And uh, the hardness, uh, again, yes, the PTG was the harder according to specifications. They mentioned that the carbon fiber version is softer, but in uh, all three cases, these are very similar values. And the final table is the price. I think it is very important here because the regular PTG is almost half of the price compared to the V0 or CF. So if you don't need these uh, specifications, definitely you should go with the regular PTG. And our conclusions for the end, uh, first small reminder, if you are using a smooth PI sheet with the PTG, it may stick too good to it. So just in case, uh, try to use some kind of glue stick as a separation layer. Satin or textured PI sheets are much better for the PTG. Now about this V0. Well, uh, most of the mechanical properties were a little bit weaker compared to the other two, but some of them not, you saw the results. But this means, uh, because of that higher price too, that you should use this only if you really need that uh, self-extinguishing function of the filament. If you don't need it, then go with the other two. But which one? Well, uh, again, you saw from the results, uh, most cases uh, there is no big difference between the carbon fiber and non-carbon fiber version. Maybe I can see a significant difference in uh, stress types which are perpendicular to the carbon fibers. I experienced this with the bending or that C creep test. Now, there are some other advantages of the carbon fibers. It is easier for printing, actually. Of course, you don't forget that you need a harder nozzle. 
but usually the PTG is not so hard for printing for me. But if you do have some warping and problems printing regular PTG, in that case the carbon fiber version is easier for printing. Actually I experienced this with the PC blend, the non-carbon fiber version is very hard for printing. I have a lot of warpings and problems with that filament, but the carbon fiber version is great for printing really if you can print on those high temperatures. And also it will give a nice uh, look where those uh, layer lines will be almost um, invisible. Question is if it worth uh, the extra higher price. This is something what you should decide yourself. I hope uh, I could help you with this uh, video. Uh, as always, the results you can download from my techfund.com website. And for Patreon supporters, I'm adding these uh, three lines, actually two lines for that summary table, so they can easily compare these results to any which I did in earlier videos. And please don't be jealous, so sometimes I get some negative comments, but every result is available for everybody, only you have to collect them yourself. This is my only gift to my Patreon supporters, uh, so they can easily save some time and get this uh, summary table all in one place. If you had some additional experience with these filaments, you know, few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!